turn up and, you know, I look like a biker and then I take my jacket off and the dog colour comes out and the language sort of tones down a little bit. <laughs> the Reverend Ray Biddis, or Rev Ray as he prefers to be known, has found a great way to combine the two passions in his life. Perhaps God's a biker, because in Genesis we hear it clearly written, the triumph of the Lord was heard throughout the land. I first started biking when I was about 13 years old. My dad gave up push bike riding and got himself a rally runabout moped. And every time he parked it up, I nicked it and had a quick ride round the block. He never did understand why it was so rubbish on petrol. And then I found the rocket, 2.34 litre of mean British machine. And I thought, well, if only we could put a hearse directly onto the back of that. And then once it was built, I thought, well, we've got to get it out there. And I discovered there was no world record for a motorcycle hearse. So we went and set one. As I was leaving to go down the track, somebody said to me, you only have to go over 80 miles an hour. I said to him, mate, if it ain't over a ton, I ain't doing it. 114 miles an hour with the coffin. I've made a lot of friends through biking. The biking community is just so diverse. You meet folks all over the place and they're just there for each other. It's brilliant. I mean, you get a sunny day and you get into those Yorkshire Dales. The hymn, Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder, consider all the works thy hand hath made. You see the stars, the rolling hills, the sun beating down on God's creation. It's just heart lifting. And it's that sense of synergy of being one with the machine. The body moves, the bike moves, and it's just freedom. It's that acceptance by the biking community of whatever you, and wherever you come from that makes it so special. I mean, you can pull up anywhere. You break down on the side of the road. You'll never see a biker left on the side of the road. Another biker will pull up. It's great. To be perfectly honest, I owe most of what I am to my first wife, Wendy. She embraced the fact that I was a biker, but she also then, later on, supported me when I went into the ministry. And one of the last things she did when she was battling cancer was to make my colors on my denim. She embroidered it all by machine and hand. I, I wear it now with great pride and in memory of her. What she embroidered on the back of my jacket, first of all, was the eagle, which signifies that soaring and that freedom but secondly was the most fundamental scripture of Christian faith, John 3:16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son, that those who believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. And that's what it's all about. When Wendy knew she was dying, she said to me, she said, Ray, I want a celebration of my life. And it instantly it came to my mind, life celebration funerals. And that's when I really started doing funerals and making them a celebration of a life. I suppose the best journeys that I remember most were with my first wife, when she used to ride with me on the bike. That's a special time that we had. Then sings my soul, my saviour God to me. I was on Op Herrick 13 out in Afghanistan. My vehicle triggered an IED, which sent me 40 foot up in the air, down to earth with a thud. I was going down to surgery. I even had time to update my Facebook status, saying I'm just going down to theatre to have my feet locked off. See you in a couple of hours. 